Hello again, everybody. Flyboy, Flyboy's Ghost Channel. I'm going to show you the finished product. I started to do this on camera with a how to, or at least show you what I was doing, and I realized I wasn't paying enough attention, and it can't possibly be the whiskey, so I turned off the camera, focused on what I was doing, and minimized my goofs, and I did goof a little bit. Right there is how it came out. I didn't cut it perfect, and I did get color outside the lines just a little bit, but I think it improved the looks of that guy a whole lot. And y'all, I didn't give but uh, ten dollars a piece for plus shipping for these uh, crucifixes, and they bent. You know, it took a little bit of work to bend them, but it really wasn't hard to do. And so I went ahead and bent the ends, you know, to follow the contour of the grip right there like this. And uh, anyway, that's the way it came out. I can do a little touch-up sanding around them where I got outside the line a little bit and goofed up some. It's not real bad. My wife thinks it looks pretty good. She's, she's often pretty kind to me, so. Anyway, y'all. Uh, I apologize for not having much of a how-to video uh, or any how-to video on this, but anyway, the man I got these from is Will Gormley out of Iowa, and in the previous video that I did just, just a couple hours ago, a few hours ago when I was unpackaging these before I started them, I pinned his uh, website, and I'll do it in this uh, comments below down here. So that y'all can be able to get to it. But now this man does not do phone orders, as far as I know, and he does. You can't buy on his website, but uh, you order mail order through him. I sent him a, a postal money order, and he sent it out. Well, it actually took less than a week to get to me. A week and a week and about three or four days, and that was in the a holiday and a weekend included, uh, from the time that. He sent. He got my money to the time I got the inlays. Can't argue with that for somebody that's still doing mail order. I'm pretty sure that this. I think that the that Will Gormley had a hand in the original Russell Crowe's original grip inlays. Not sure to what degree, but y'all, I really need to have researched that a little bit further. I'm under the impression that those were his design, or at least he had something to do with it. If I'm wrong about that. At the very least, I do know that these and these crucifixes are directly patterned from the dimensions of the ones in Russell Crowe's groups. So, to me, for ten dollars a piece, it was a natural, you know, some choice. I mean, to me, that just changed that gun a whole lot. And I'm being careful about where I'm pointing it because I don't keep an unloaded gun. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Talk to you later.